Good morning. Hopefully you can see and hear us okay and you have joined us today for our draw along where we're going to attempt to draw a griffin which is a combination of an eagle and a lion effectively as one, our next mythical creature. So hopefully you've got the reference pictures. Um, they are on the event in the discussion board. So if you're working from a different device, that's where you can find the, the two individual photos so that we can enlarge them. Um, yeah, please someone say hello to so I know everything's working okay. Um, it's been a bit of a frantic start this morning. I think first day back officially for us has um, caught us off guard a little bit. So hi from Pi, thanks for joining us. Um, yeah, another tricky one. I'll be honest, I'm a bit intimidated by this one. So um, it'd be interesting to see how this one goes as we merge two photos together, obviously without using Photoshop, doing it all by hand. Um, good morning to Bailey. Hello to Erin, I want to say, under Kate's profile. Let's see if I'm testing my memory now, aren't we? Hi to Jill, Emily and Freya. Awesome. Oh, loads of people join us. Michael's with us today as well. Just say hi, Michael. Hi. <laughs> okay, yep, uh, that's exactly what I did tell you today. Um, so yes, I'm going to be using, I'm going to show you col the colours I'm going to be using today. So from the eagle, I've got some sort of yellows um, for the eye and the beak, a bit of an orange as well, and then some a couple of browns. And then for the lion, I've gone for sort of sandy colour brown as well. But actually, um, when I was looking up the images of the griffin, I thought that the lion was a much bigger feature of it. But when you look at it, actually... It's mostly eagle, with just the back end being the lion. So, I mean, we can we can adapt this any way we want. I might try and merge so that the lion main the lion's mane appears, just because it's such a big part of the lion, isn't it? Um, hi, Hannah. So, let's get started. And I don't even know where we're going to start today. <laughs> it's going to be an interesting one. So, I'm going to have to move my reference image so I've got enough space to work. So, hopefully, you've got something to fall back on. So the first, this, the trickiest bit is going to be sketching out the form and trying to get the proportions right. So I'm going to start, I think, with the wing today because I want to get that fully in. You know, we did the dragon a couple of weeks ago and um, I cut off the wing, which is quite a significant part of a dragon, really. <laughs> so I want to make sure I get the wing in this time. Erin's very excited to do the griffin today. Well, I'm glad you are. I'm nervous about it. <laughs> so I'm going to start sketching off that top part of the wing, those top flight feathers that you can see. So this is just going to be rough, rough outline to begin with and we'll tidy it up afterwards. Really, really sketchy just so I can get the initial shapes in and that goes down into the head and the beak. So even so the front legs of the griffin is are the eagle talons. Which again, I didn't realise. I thought I thought it was all body light, the body of a lion and the head of an eagle, but it's not. It's literally like the animals have been cut in two. And those talons we want to get in as well because that's quite a ferocious looking part of the creature, I would say. Joe sent me through some griffin facts that I can share with you this morning, which I'll get onto once we've got started. So make sure you get those sharp looking cat talons in there as well. Feet are always tricky, aren't they? And I know in the past we've tried to we've you know some of us have hidden the feet in snow, for example, the robin. But I think this one is a good one to try and get the feet in because it's just such a big feature of the eagle. I'm going to start just drawing that front foot. I don't think I want to overcomplicate it by putting the other one in yet. So now that I've done that, I'm, I could go in and do the details of the head, but I think what I want to do is make sure that the body's light, the, the body of the lion fits in okay. I've got a feeling I'm going to have to crop some of it out already. <laughs> um, so I don't want to spend too much time detailing this and have to correct it in a second. So I'm going to switch to the picture of the lion and literally scratch my head about where I go with this. So I'm going to start with the back, and obviously it is only the back legs we're showing, so oh, this is tricky. This might take a few attempts, I'll go back to the belly, nope, not happy with that, let's get a rubber. I feel like it needs to start higher up. So 
effectively, I mean, the back legs could look like any any big cat, really, couldn't they? So I think it's going to be the towel that we need to make sure is in to show that little tuft, and that's what identifies it as a lion, really, isn't it? You can see both back legs there. Why the why is the head so big? <laughs> yeah, good point, Michael. Thanks for the um, critique. That doesn't look right at all, does it? <laughs> Let's try again. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, thanks. I got so focused on drawing the feet then, I, when you actually step back and look at the image, that was totally out of proportion. I've got, um, I've got a big head. Yeah, I don't think the head's too big. I think it was the body was too yeah. small. Like yeah, no, you were right too, thank you. <laughs> I was thinking, the body like the head. Right, let's try again. So, what I might find. Is that I've got to crop a big part of it out. But what I'll do is just make I'll bring the towel in so that you can identify the align part of it. Hopefully, you guys have proportioned yours up. This is where I always go wrong with my drawings, is that I just don't start in the right place. <laughs> I'm still not happy with that. Maybe I should have added a picture of a line sitting down and then that would have fit better. <laughs> That's everyone else getting on. Better than me, I hope. I wonder if I bring the wing in a bit more. So it give me a bit of space to then. No, it's looking like a, quite a chubby griffin. It's got a big belly, round. I'm just going to check another reference image of a griffin, see how they've done it. Yeah, so when you look at images of griffins as they are depicted as mythical creatures, sometimes they have, I'm looking at some, some have got lion's feet at the front as well, which is confusing. But a lot of them have really longer, skinny eagle legs, which is eagle legs, which is probably why I'm struggling a little bit. But we're going to keep, we're going to keep trying. Is that how you smell it? Yeah, yeah. By all means, if you want to change your image, I would. Fuck it. <laughs> right, like I said, it's definitely a new skill, isn't it, doing this? It's very different to just copying from one picture. I'm going to bring that towel around. Because I think that's going to be the only way that you're going to be able to tell that this is a lion's body. A little tufty bit there. But I think the legs should be lower down than my picture will allow. And the uh, eye. You yeah, warm you warm up. It's because we've had a couple of weeks off. It's taking me a while to get back into the swing of things. Okay, um, that's not too bad now. I'm quite. Um, I feel like we salvaged it. Go for it. Okay. Yeah, that's my best work, but it's better than it was a couple of minutes ago. So that's progress, isn't it? <laughs> Joe finds this mesmerising. Well, on. everyone's enjoying it. That's good. That's good. Obviously, yours are going a little bit better than mine. <laughs> so now that I'm fairly okay with this structure now. That's all right. Well, I'm sure we can tidy it up as we go along. I'm going to go back and add the details in with the um, head, because obviously it's quite a significant part of the creature. So I'm going to sketch in that eye. They've got quite round eyes, eagles. It's almost like it's got an eyebrow. Does the griffin have a uh, towel? Yes, so it's got a lion's towel. Ooh. So you do that little tufty bit at the end. I'm going to sketch in with the feather change.
And he's got a really strong, powerful beak. I want to get in as well. Yeah, let's choose some Sharp point on the end. We're getting there. We're getting somewhere anyway. Mm -hmm. It's hard to get a film in the tower, isn't it? <laughs> I found it's hard drawing all of it so far. Mine's too tiny, Hannah said. Well, is it or is it that you've allowed enough space on your page, not like me where I sort of struggle to fit it all in? Maybe yours is a little baby griffin. I wonder if a baby griffin would look cute or be just as ferocious. Can you imagine you know, you think a fluffy eagle chick when they haven't got their adult feathers yet and then cub body with the little spots on them? That'd be actually quite sweet. That would be a really good development if you if you draw this and you want to carry it on today, draw a baby one to go alongside it. Look up a picture of a baby eagle. This big, normally grey, fluffy chicks, aren't they? That'd be cool. Um, yeah, my my child is a bit Yeah, you want to make it softer and fluffier. So yeah, that little tufty end that they had the lions. Our reference picture for the eagle is quite dark, so it's quite difficult to see the lines of the feathers. But we'll try and get some of them in, some of those shapes in. Mine is chubby. <laughs> He's obviously been eating well then. <laughs> well, we're doing mythical creatures, so if it doesn't quite look like a griffin, you've just made another mythical creature, haven't you? A one that we have no idea. Yeah, you've just created one. I'm going to create some little tufts as well going down on his belly. All right. We're winning, just about. You can so tell I don't practice these before we do a live, can't you? <laughs> Quite apparent. I think I'm ready to start placing some colour down. Before I muck it up and overwork it and make it worse. <laughs> yeah, good save, Michael. Keep going. Those yeah. look good. The, the, the towel just the the you see on yeah. Like the talons are quite tricky yeah, to do, they, aren't they? They look like ninja stars. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'm gonna start with the eye, which has got a very black round pupil. So we'll start with that. And then it's got a bright, almost bright yellow. I'll go with the bright yellow. I might dull it down again with some other tones. That's a bit too bright. Oh. And then it has a black outline around that as well. Because we've got a white head, I'm probably going to use some grey tones to um, depict the, the different feathers, the little bit of plumage you can see, the feathers there. 
get if I was working on coloured paper, I'd be able to use a white pencil. Not today, white paper today. Now we're doing time. Not too bad, actually. I felt like I spent half an hour drawing that then. I thought I'd get a panic on. Oh, I'm going to run out of time. I'm trying to depict some of those shorter feathers that you can see around his head. And then you can see them getting longer on the neck. I'm sort of just adding in some longer lines to show that. This is a horned up on its You've jumped right ahead, aren't you? <laughs> Not hanging about today, Michael. Yep. Jack, this, this looks like a cartoony one. Not too scary, that's the little kids. Okay. You've changed your style today. I see a little bit of brown in there as well, so I'm just going to add that in. I wonder if that's dirt potentially, rather than actual brown feathers. It might be, you think, what? an eagle hunts and they, how they yeah. eat, they probably have to put their heads right into the meat, so it's probably a little bit of, little bit of gut and blood. Yeah. <laughs> Which is why, and this is totally irrelevant, vultures have um, long necks that are featherless because they're always in carcasses. Yeah. It's, you know, more hygienic and easier for them to be clean if they don't have feathers around their heads and necks. That's why they yeah. look bald. Yeah. It's a useless piece of information there. I'm full of that, those interesting facts. So there's David Abra programs will grow up on. Speaking of which, Joe just sent us through some facts on griffins. Um, let's have a look. So, they're griffins are said to guard treasure. Is fact number one. Everyone knows that. Oh, it, I didn't. That's, I that did. was news to me. Um, I did. Okay. I suppose if you were on the hunt for some treasure and you saw something like this I, I mean, sitting on top of it, you might think twice. Yeah, I mean, like with griffins, they're normally grey. Are they? Yeah. How many have you seen? Well, like, normally in real, like, the pictures. In, pi in other grey. reference pictures? Yeah. This is too on So, head and wings of an eagle body body of a lion and the tail of a serpent or a lion oh i didn't know about the serpent so i've gone with a lion's tail but if you haven't drawn your tail you want to change it you could draw it, it as a serpent's tail i've just seen an elliot bear coming out into the garden so we might be joined in a second Yay. you thinking about it so Dad spotted him yet? Nope, I can hear him. So the beaks have got quite an orangey, yellowy tone. And a shadow on that top edge there. I like that. Let's see some comments. And they said it's so cute. This Griffin, Griffin I drew. Oh, you're drawing a baby one. Oh, oh, good. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Michael, do you want to show your drawing so far? This is Michael so far. So he's already on the body. My head is very small to the body. Well, there's no rules, are there? We can do it however we It's want. like those little bubble heads. Yeah. The big, the big, the, the big head, the small body, the big body, the small head. <laughs> All right. Let's now try it with the feathers. So I'm going with some browns. But I'm going to try and get a couple of different browns in here for a bit of variation. Otherwise, it's just going to look a bit too like blocks of colour. I'm going to make the um griffin wing gold. Oh, nice. Yeah, because some of the reference pictures I saw, the griffin wing was white. 
Mm. Oh yeah, so the gold, this gold that I'm using, is like, it's like not, like too goldish. Oh, that's really sweet, Hannah. Read the comment, Michael, can see. <laughs> Put a smile on your face, isn't it? And then Freya said, well done, Michael, as well. Yeah, I, I, am, I am an artist. <laughs> We're all artists, aren't we? Anyone that picks up a pencil and draws, whether it's for a job or just for fun, you're still being an artist. We're basically, we're basically artists every day. Yeah, we do lots of drawing and stuff, don't we? No, I mean, like, every person is basically an artist every day. Do you think? Because, yeah. like, you're basically... You're basically drawing and looking. Do you <laughs> I tried to move the picture <laughs> using the tablet and I tried to do it on my own piece of work. Yeah. Oh dear, I have too much time on the technology, I think. That's true, but that's just so funny. I was thinking of something like streaks of grey on the wing too. Nice, yeah. Actually, to be fair, yeah, this reference image, it doesn't show a lot of colour, so you could add, you could add any details you wanted to really, couldn't you? Yeah, that's my favourite, just doing that. Just making lines. Obviously, not too many lines, because I've been mixed up. We've got to do the towel. I'm trying to depict the little feather lines you can see on those top feathers, but I'm drawing them in as quite sharp individual lines. Mm -hmm. You see the front one. Oh, I can see that. Hmm, that's not good. What's the matter? The brown is orange. <laughs> what? You got tricked. Um, I'm going to look it. Improvised. What? Have you already put it on the paper? Yeah. Shade to... over it. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's fine. Yeah, just and it suggested you could add, add a background. You could, couldn't you? You could have it um, like standing on some rocks or something. Yeah, I can do with that. a sunset behind it. That'd I'm, be cool. I'm not very good at that. Well, sunset. You could just do like oh, different yeah, tones you, of you, colour. Yeah, and then you like stripes. add them together. Yeah. yeah, you've done it before with mm. like paintings and stuff, haven't you? Mm. That's what I like kind of like mixing stuff. You like working in acrylic paints, don't you? Yeah. We should maybe do that one day cloud. Like, oh, cloud. Yeah. yeah. Maybe like we, we need to think. We need to make a decision on what the next term's theme is going to be. Star Wars. No. <laughs> as in, up? as in, like what set of animals? So do we go for marine uh, animals, farm animals? I was, I was thinking. Um, do we travel around the world and explore, like you know, focus on a count a county? A continent at a time or something. I was thinking like um, Harry Potter. Like the Harry Potter. But that would be mythical animals. That's what we're doing at the moment. No, like the badger, the great. The... Oh, I see. Well, that's a good there's four of them. There's a griffin or one of them, obviously. Is there? Gryffindor. Gryffindor, yeah. Well, it's a lion, isn't it? They just yeah, it's long. Yeah. Oh, wait, have we settled with marine sea creatures? I've I had that in my head, so that, that's probably why then. So marine, marine and sea creatures for next time, and then maybe insects, marsupials, and insects maybe... and bugs. Yeah, do you know what? I'm not a huge fan of drawing insects and bugs. I find them really tricky because they're much more symmetrical, and you have to be really accurate. But there's no reason not to do them, just because I find them tricky. So it's every reason to do them, really, isn't it? Work out of our mm. comfort zone a little bit. I mean, um, every one term we could do flowers, maybe. Nah, I don't like drawing. I like drawing animals. I just want to draw animals. That's me. I mean, I can draw like the only things I could probably draw are probably animals, flowers, background, farm creatures, especially sheep and goats. <laughs> we have got a goat coming up in one of the oh. creatures. I think it's the chimera. There's a goat feature in there, and it's. A goat that you've worked with, Michael. Okay, the goat. Okay. I love what they call it. And that was thanks to Emily and Freya and Jill for sending that picture to me. That we can use it as our reference image. 
I always thought when I first saw the name, I was like, what is it? It's a goat flat then. Yeah. The pancakes are flat. <laughs> Right. Does anyone know why it's called pancake? Uh, it's because he looks like a pancake. Right? A pan but so, you know, <laughs> How'd that work? You know the colours of pancake? Yeah, oh, okay. That, I think that's why they named it, because it looks like a pancake colour. Uh -huh. So they called it pancake. And maybe because it's a bit comfy. Maybe. You're just guessing now? No, but I, th I, think, I think it's a, the... Um, to actually the colour. Maybe they just gave her a random name. Was he born on Pancake Day? Hmm. Maybe. So Tuesday, maybe. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Jill, no, Jill might know. Yeah. Um, born on Pancake Day, yep. Oh. I always thought because it looked like it, like the colour of it looked like a pancake. And Debbie, they've got six goats. Do you milk them? See, we've, yeah. I've, I've, oh, yeah, our, no, our dream yeah. is to get a small holding one day, and I would like to keep goats and make goat cheese. Yeah, when I actually no, I do my goat cheese by myself. Yeah, you like all cheese. Yeah. Jensen, uh, well, my brother doesn't like goat cheese. No, it's an acquired taste. Mm? It's an acquired taste. Mm. It's a weird taste, yeah. Now let's talk about cheese now. Mm -hmm. right, I'm going to get these claws in. Again, trying to make them look really sharp with the lines, so not so sketchy with the colour. Now I'm being quite definite with it, so you get a really sharp point. Mm I've nearly done mine. Yeah, you always beat me. Only because I've got a fast arm. And I like to work fast. Yeah. You get bored of it, don't you? Yeah, I get bored quite easily. Mm. Very easy. My griffin is in the desert. Oh, good placement. That reminds me of one of the Fantastic Beasts. There's one that... Is it, was it a, I want to say it was like a griffin. It was definitely eagerly based. Which one? In the Fantastic Beasts films. There's one that's like golden, I think, or silvery. And he's got it. He collected him or he's released into the Arizona desert, I think. Fantastic Beasts? Yeah. What? You know, there's Harry Potter Oh, no, yeah, 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 yeah. I was like... What? I've never heard that. Yeah, yeah. You've even got some of the Lego for it. Yeah, I do. I do. <coughs> some more Griffin. It's yeah. like it's got like a um record for the towel. Lizard. So you need to put the background. Oh yeah. Mine's on a hill. His name's Griff Griff the Griffin. Like it. Right. Now let's get this lion body in. Incorporated. What about the background then? Should I do red? For the sunset? Yeah. Yeah, I would. I'm not going to have time to do background. I never, I never, can never work as fast as you guys. Mine's on a mountain. Good one. He's in the desert and sitting on a rock by a temple. That's a lot of detail. Well done. Find some more. So they appear, griffins appear in the arts of ancient Persia, Egypt, Greece and Rome. So again, not just isolated to one area. It just makes you wonder, doesn't it? There we go. Well done. Did they exist? In some form. Done it. Well done, Michael. Ancient people believe they built their nests out of gold. <laughs> or did they get all the gold from them? 
Mine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying mine. mine. They're said to be the superhero of the mythological creatures. Incredible strength, unfailing protective instincts, and zero tolerance against evil. So the Griffins are the good guys. Um, so they they look ferocious. They protect. Well, sometimes in films, you normally see like people change the way. So like, say for. So they might make him the bad guy. Yeah. So yeah. they change their personality they, to the opposite. Mm. So but they traditionally in culture and in history, that's what they were known. Yeah. So they like. They they look ferocious, but in in the bad stuff they don't look ferocious. So that's I think I get now. Yeah. Hannah says, can she see your drawing? Okay. Well, at least the kind of famous. <laughs> There's Michael. So he's got his colourful sunset in the background as well, and you've got different colours down on the wings, and your golden wings you've gone for. Mm. There we go. The, mount, the mountains just look like big camel lumps. <laughs> Did you rush the mountains a little bit? Well, hi, yeah. Joe said they're the Captain America of mythological beings. I like that. Oh, we should assign a superhero to each one that we study. Yeah. <laughs> or a villain, depending on what their nature is like. Husky towel. Ah, you can say yours is good. Can you say that add a tree? You could add a tree in actually. Yeah, it's in the sky. Oh, mm, you could have trees up mountains. Um, you, you, you've just you've given up, haven't you? No, but you know, <laughs> no. I know you, you too grass. well. No, you need grass. Uh huh. You do get trees up mountains sometimes. Okay, I'll do a tree. I've replaced it. Hmm? Have I persuaded you? No. I'm proving you wrong. <laughs> I can't see them in the picture, but I'm going to add in some lion claws. Just going to, in a similar way that you see them on the uh, eagle. I'm probably going to regret this now already because I didn't sketch them in first, but you know, whatever. What are you doing now? I'm adding in some lion claws because you oh. can't see them in the in the image. I guess because they're hidden, so and they're I, I'm assuming retractable like a normal cat. They probably don't. They probably aren't out all the time. Other facts. Used as the logo on a number of car manufacturers, including Vauxhall, Scania, and Saab. Yeah, we've got Vauxhall. And it is, yeah, there's a sign on there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they are said to be guarding sacred sites. What? Sacred sites. Uh, normally, it's, it's normally linked to religion and stuff, so um, places where people might worship or things like that. Okay. And it's also said that their claws and feathers could restore the sight to the blind. Wow, pretty um, cool. Pretty cool superpower to have. Um, I'm blind. <laughs> no. I love that one before. That would be pretty helpful. That is the problem about being blind. Uh, there's lots of problems. Yeah. There's <laughs> so many. You go, when you wear glasses, then you fall off, don't they? What? Well, like if you're doing like exercises or something, the gla your glasses fall off. Don't but you don't have to be blind to have glasses. I wear glasses. No, it's yeah. a bit confusing colour things there, aren't you? Yeah, I'm no, struggling no. a bit with the colour on this lion. I feel like I'm I'm rushing the colour. I'm trying to. It's, it's looking a little bit too pale at the moment, isn't it? There's too much white space. I think I just need to build some colour up a little bit, and then with the paint mortar. Not paint water with the water when I've mixed the colours. Hopefully, it will fill in the gaps a little bit. You might finish this quite early. I don't know. <laughs> Not the way I'm working today. I mean, people are already done. That's always the way, though. It's only been one. It's always me that's last. <laughs> but it's not a race. We're on our own little journey. Yes, 
Yeah, Erin's done. Knew it. That includes putting back. Well done, Erin. Same again with the um, uploads. It'll be between 6 and 9 p.m. tonight. Hmm. I'm going to be bold of some of these shadows. Fred's at Hogwarts in the background. Oh, awesome. Good call. And Hogwarts is not easy to draw. Well, I should know. I just painted it on our window for Christmas once. And it's hard work. <laughs> All those straight lines and so many windows. What are we going to do for this year for Christmas? Oh, God. I can't think about Christmas yet. We're only in April. I, I think it's April Christmas. It's been and gone. Is it already? Oh yeah. Mine is I can't I can't read that had a Clazeld Gryffindor. Cool. Can we do a meerkat one day? Oh called <laughs> I didn't even clock that. Called Gryffindor, that's called. Cool. Oh, a meerkat, okay. yeah. Elliot would love to join. Uh, yeah, Elliot's favourite animal is a meerkat. Slightly obsessed with them. No, it's orangutans, isn't it? Oh he does like orangutans too, but I think meerkats are his favourite. Mm. Lots of you. He likes quite a few like intelligent animals, doesn't he? Just interested in animals full stop, I think. That's just like the way he picked them up. Make a small bit and then the rain can get big. Quite variation, isn't there? Yeah. Hmm, still not sure about this lion part. I think the eagle bit is pretty good, but I think the lion could do some extra work. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm gonna go with the water. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can improve it as I go along. I like water. It just fades up sometimes. It's funny. So I'm gonna start with the eye. I feel like I need a smaller paintbrush actually. Sometimes. You only need big ones for the body. Well, ideally, I would use a small paintbrush for all of it because then you can really get the detail. Like normally, I'm in a rush, so that doesn't happen. Yeah. I'm going to go to the beak. Did you use watercolour today, today, Michael? Oh, you're not painting it. Hmm? You're not painting it. No, I don't know what to do. something. No, sir. <laughs> My arms are gone. Yeah. I'm texting, that's why. Yeah. Basically, when you are. Go on. Um, like when you're on a computer and stuff, you're basically still exercising your arms. <laughs> Well, you are. You're, you're, you're Very loose exercise, I would say. I like your way of thinking, though, Michael. Do you still like feeling? Yes, I'm exercising all the time. All the time, sitting working at a computer. <laughs> no, I would say not. It touches it. Yeah, your muscles. It's not exactly cardio, is it? It still works. No. Remember, if you are painting, to follow the strokes of your pencil. Don't just, you know, randomly paint. You can't. You want to keep that directional thing going. Now I'm going to switch to a bigger paintbrush now. You are basically exercising every day, though. You what from typing? No, like everywhere, like whatever you're doing. You're yeah, doing well, fun. movement. Yeah. But unfortunately, these days, a lot of us, myself included, um, don't move around enough. Yeah. Because my job means I'm sat at a desk most of the time. Because of the technology, yeah, it's like every, 
Yeah. Technology is great because it's enabled us to do things like this. Yeah, but it's just it's a bit like over the road now. Isn't it? Our bodies weren't designed to be sat yeah. around all day. I mean, you can you can still be on the other phone or something and exercise at the same yeah. time. You just have to consciously make the effort to do that. Yeah. How have we got onto this subject? Um, we started talking about the typhoon. Yep, that is amazing. Oh, thank you. Considering it started off a little bit wobbly, I think I pulled it back okay. We do sometimes have random talks, don't we? We do. We do that a lot, don't we? I'm spreading the colour out now because if you look, there's not much colour on the page, but I'm I'm using the water to spread it out, fill the gaps. Are there brushes or sizes of brushes that I would recommend? That's a really good question, Joe. So the, I can show you what I've got. I don't know what the make of these are. So um, these most of the brushes I have can be used for different paints. So this is good for watercolour, gouache, and ink. Um, so with watercolour, you want something really, really soft bristle and rounded shape because it loads up the water better and it loads up the paint better. And the cut, the, the sizes I tend to use, I, t I use these same two brushes every time, size so two and size four. And um, ideally, I want a smaller one as well. I oh, need to pick up a size one someone somewhere. But yeah, if you get a set like that, then obviously it's multitasking. You get can get some really amazing like deals in places like the works. That's where I used to get all my art equipment, even when I was at university. Um, and you can get sets of paint brushes. They're not great quality, but they do all right. So I used to because I was terrible for washing my brushes up. So I used to always wreck them. So it wasn't worth me. I was a very disorganised young person. Not a lot of change, really. Um, but I'd look after my brushes a bit better now. But because I'd just leave them in the paint or leave them in the water, it wasn't worth me to invest in lots of money in them because I'd wreck them quite quickly and need to replace them. So you could pick up, I mean, this was a while ago now, you could pick up a whole set of paint brushes for a couple of pounds. Um, and they worked fine. I managed, I managed to get through my A-levels and degree with those, so... As you become more like a stronger and stronger artist, that's when you're. It's worth you investing more in the in the tools because then you'll see the difference. And the uh, if you're looking for watercolor pencils rather than just normal color pencils, I had a standard. Just I think it was a set of twelve for years, and it wasn't a particular brand. Um, and I've just upgraded to these, which are Castle, made by Castle, which are quite a big brand. Um, and there's 120 in there, but I, I only use the same few over and over again. <laughs> so I wouldn't necessarily recommend buying a massive set of them. I would. You would, because you'd look at all the colours and think, ooh. No, um, I would think if you needed. Well, you can, the thing is, you can blend and mix yeah, colours, so you yeah, don't you don't need all those browns. You just you know you create darker brown by adding a bit of a black yeah, to that as guess, well. I guess I guess like you know if you're like lazy or something. <laughs> you think, oh, that's just grab this for the next minute. Got a cough coming. Sorry, <coughs> something was tickling my throat then. Nice. Oh wait, no, it's just a cold with that. Yeah. Can we draw Fluffy, as in from Harry Potter, free haggard dog? Do you know I did oh. contemplate doing that because he's a Cer is it Cerberus in mythical oh. creatures, and um, but effectively I was like, it's not really mixing any animals. It is just drawing a dog with three heads, oh, yeah. which is the only reason I didn't include it on this um, series. Well, you can, like, um, get three-headed dogs, like, because that's the video games, you can get three-headed dogs, like, like lava or something, like, so, yeah, I mean, no idea what you're talking about. So you can get, like, three-headed dogs, but they have, like, powers, or, like, oh, okay. they're, like, made out of magnets. Well, I think a lot of things that we see in modern day, like, stories, films, books, games, have come from, like, mythical and more ancient stories. 
you know, when you look oh, at yeah. Harry Potter and, and some of the creatures in there, J.K. Rowling didn't invent those creatures. Yeah. They exist. She's, she's just included them as characters. That she yeah. didn't, you know, she didn't come up with the idea of dragons or a phoenix. Like she just started dreaming. I don't know. I don't know the story. I, I thought I had something about that dream and just started biting birds. Nice. Cat corn. Cat What's that? Corn. Is that like a horse mixed with a cat? Or is it like corn? If you didn't know already, our last one this season is going to be for you to draw or create your own mythical creature. So start thinking about that because oh. you're going to want to come, you're going to have to bring your own reference images for that one and we're just going to draw together. And we're going to create a whole host of new mythical creatures. So think, you could combine your favourite animals, for example, and you could actually think about which parts would form which part of the body. And Fair you enough. know, so I don't know where I'm going to start with that one. Donut. That is, donut's not an animal. Donut with teddy in it. Mm, mm, well, you put like a donut ring around it, like oh, oh, oh animals. Oh, wait, you know, you know that planet in. Mm, space. Yeah. And it has like the circle. The rings, yeah. Yeah. So you get this donut and then you put it into this. Like, but how is that a mythical colorful, creature? A colourful, mythical creature. And then. I think I'm going to steer you away from donuts. No, I don't know. <laughs> and insist it needs to be animals. Yeah, it is a good idea. Well, you, you can do it. Thing. You said you said to create whatever you want. I mean, not whatever you want, literally. You can't just create that. I've got this small brush, I'm going to do the other claws as well. I didn't quite draw the lion claws as good as the eagle one, and I think that's just because I didn't have a reference picture. I should have really just copied the same, drawn them in the same way. So they all matched. These look a bit rushed in comparison, don't they? Oh well. We are winning. We're not in a way. Well, yeah, I need to be done by 12, <laughs> which it looks like I've got plenty of time. I think, again, I've, I need to add in some darker tones again, more shadows and stuff. I think I've, got, I've lost my bravery with the colour. But we'll see what it looks like once it's all done. And if, if necessary, I can just go back and add on some darker tones. What's Joe's message today, Michael? Can you read it out to me? You've given me a great idea for something new, Michael. Rub his hands together like an <laughs> evil genius. <laughs> well, we need to know more now, Joe. You can't just leave it like that. Yeah. Is it something to do with donuts? Oh, uh, you know the, the book donut book. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's. Mm -hmm. Was that easily done? Hmm. On our plotting idea. Huh? It's not a bad idea. Yeah, it's a good idea. So it's always got fantastic ideas. No, man, I meant like a like, um, bombing a house or something. Oh, basically things like that. A strange imagination. I'm pretty, pretty sure that's not what it is. Mine is painted toner. House. Nice. What colour did you go with? Or is it all a mix of colours? <laughs> Joe's put, I'm feeling for a cartoon type series on making food stuff characters. Ooh. That's a good call. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Mm. Wait, like, so that could be like your, your donut you that turns in, that is a character. What? Like your squishmallows. He's obsessed with squishmallows at the moment. So that's where this is coming from because he's got a donut squishmallow. Well, we do. We, we do think know. it's a donut. Yeah. We haven't quite worked it out. It looks like a donut. A bit like those sounding clouded with a chance of meatballs. Mm. Yeah, I like that. What, as a story or, or, or as another draw along? That'd be cool. I have a few squishmallows. You could draw inspiration from. There's a squishmallow that's a tree. It's like a nice. Oh. Hannah's asked to see your tree. tree. 
I'll put one tree. One little tree. Oh, I'm just about to see it in the mountain. Oh, blue. He painted the, the toenails blue. Cool. Frey loves squishmallows as well. What is it? Is it just the, the how they feel? No, it's like you've got so, tons of them. So you, it's how they feel. You've got no the, bed left. It's just overtaken with squishmallows. Oh no, I only like three. Yeah, massive ones. Though. Yeah, I only have one big, big one and one medium one. And, Maybe yeah. this would be good for the next be on the book club series. Yeah, you know, people are asking about that, Joe. We need to get that booked in. Who are you? Um, how can I show mine? So, Hannah, you won't be able to show it during the live. We figured that out last time, I think, that it won't let you upload a photo in the comments section. But when I, uh, I say me, when Joe puts on a post later on this evening, um, then you can show your work there and just upload it. So from about six o'clock, but you need to get it on before 9 p.m. if you want some feedback from me. And then you can upload your photo there and then we can all see your work that way. Why don't they put the squish mallow to make it squishy? I'm finished from pie. Well done, pie. Are you pleased with it? Did it go to plan? Or did you have a nightmare like me at the beginning? <laughs> and then Gabriel, put both of yours are amazing. Oh, thank you. Gabriel, sorry. I didn't know I always get those two models up. Yeah, the feedback share post. So what Joe will do is put a picture up of my finished drawing. So when you see a picture of this, upload onto the main Technology Triumphs page. That's the post that you comment onto. And um, and then at some point in the evening, I'll log on and give you your feedback. I've done it again. Oh, mucked it about too much. Okay, I think that's me done. It's not perfect, but nothing ever is that I do. But I quite enjoyed it, and that is the main thing. Oh, but what, what have we forgotten to do? I've done it. What's that? Sign your name. Mm -hmm. Sign your name. Have a pencil. I think I've done. you sign your name, you can't do anything else. That can be a wrong. Cool. And ahead of time, actually. Hannah, I'm happy with mine. Awesome. Yep, name, name and sign it. Name and date it, isn't it? We'll put the date on. If if I'm going to critique my own work, what I would say is I need some more tonal work here. It's too, everywhere else has got these definite lines. And here it's just a bit, ah. Uh, in fact, I've got time. I'm going to try and do it now. Now, this is the problem is I don't know which brown I use. I've got various browns here, so I need to just... Pick one. Why you do that? Well, it's good to it's good to reflect on your own work as well. So it's good to get feedback from other people, but it's also good to to self evaluate and think. Actually, take a step back from it. What am I not happy with? What could be improved? And it might not be that you can improve it on this picture because it might be that, for example, I might say, "Well, the head's too big. Well, I can't do anything about that now." But for next time, you know that that's an area you need to focus on. It is that you make sure you get the proportions right. And the same as, you know, it is really good to get feedback from other people because people have, have different eyes, if that makes sense. So you can get used to seeing your picture in one way and not see where there is an issue or often is the way you see an issue, but no one else sees it. So getting feedback from other people, not just me, other people in your house is a really good idea for any of your work, really, that you do. Um, and then to ask people as well to be critical. It sounds silly. It sounds against like what you'd want. But you, you do want compliments, obviously, because it feels good. But you want people to show you or guide you in how to be better. Because that's how we get better, isn't it, at the end of the day? So if you're feeling brave enough, ask other people for some feedback on your work as well. And then it's going to help you develop and progress as an artist. So that's a bit better. I could spend more time on it, but I tend to just go overboard and then end yeah. up ruining it, don't I? Although, now that I'm looking at it. Oh, no. <laughs> Here we go again. I'm just going to put some shadows 
on the feet, like I've got here to match up. Right, that's fine. Put the pencil down, Mum. Put it down now. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did my cut. That was a goldfish, wasn't it? I did a black mm. background. It didn't look great. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Yeah. So, thanks for joining us. Does anyone know what, what the next one is? Is it Chimera we're doing next? I'm not entirely yeah, sure. If Joe's yeah. still watching, if you could let us know, because I've completely forgotten. Um, and have we got anything else coming up? I don't think we have. Oh, no, that's a lie. So we've got our careers week on the 8th of May. So it's a few weeks away yet, but um, we're building up our resources for that. So anyone's interested to find out about jobs and how and different career options, we've got some interviews um, that we ran last year, but we're going to rerun this year because we've got some really cool people that we spoke to, including an animator and a professional dancer. Um, but we've got new ones as well being added to the mix. And if any home editing parent or facilitator wants to talk about their jobs, careers, past or present, um, and you think that it would be of use to some home ed learners or of interest, and you're happy to talk either on camera or just answer some questions and we can put it in like an infographic, then please do get in touch. It's just, it's just a free provision we're offering for everyone because, um, we don't think any, any home editors should miss out on, on provisions that school attending learners get. So it's just something that we've um, put together because we thought it might be useful. So if anyone wants to participate in that in some way, just to get in touch. We're, we're putting stuff together over the next week or so for that. So, yes, I, you know, I can't help with that. I've picked up the pencil again. I really should stop. Um, yeah, until next Monday then. That's the next time I will be live. Um, if you're on one of our courses, keep on creating. I look forward to seeing your work. Don't forget to send nominations in parents if you see something from your learner that you think is worthy of an end of term award. Um, but until next Monday, which is an alicorn, of course it is. So this is the combination. This is where it's not quite a pegasus and it's not quite a unicorn. It's both. So a, ho a winged horse with a horn is Monday's one. Um, again, if you want different, if you want to use different reference pictures, just come along with a different picture. Maybe you've got horses, or you've got friends who've got horse, and you've got a photo. Then you can bring that along, and we will work from that. Um, but I'll see you then. What do you want to say, Michael? Bye. Bye. <laughs> End how you started, I guess. See you later, guys. Bye. Bye.